What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are draining the coolant out of the car and installing a 160 degree thermostat and put new coolant in the system. And we're gonna get ready to go tune this car because we got these mods on it. We need a tune. I haven't been haven't even been beating on the car. I haven't really brought it over like 3,000 RPMs. Uh, but my buddy's gonna tune it and we're just getting it prepped and ready. Last thing I had to do was put this 160 degree thermostat in. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, so basically I put car up on jack stands and there's a undo this at the bottom driver's side of the radiator and it'll leak all the coolant out. That way it's just drained out of the system instead of pulling the thermostat housing apart and having coolant go absolutely everywhere. Drain it out of the system and let it drain from there. So it's draining it out. It's pretty clean. Um, you know, the car's only got 55,000 miles on it. It's not the purpose of me just putting new coolant in it. Um, it's making it easier. Coolant's cheap anyway, so might as well put it in. I uh, already loosened the clamp, and once it's done draining, well, mostly draining, I'll undo these two bolts. Looks like the 10 mils. Uh, undo that, pull that off, and I got my thermostat right here. It's almost dropped it. 160 degree from Summit. It was like 25 bucks. Anybody interested, that's the part number. Looks like that. Good to go. So, just waiting on that to drain, and then we'll uh, pull the housing off. All right, got the bolts off. They are an 11 mil. Um, Got it off, looks pretty good. Um, this is the old one and the old gasket. So I'm not gonna bother keeping it because they're not that expensive and I wouldn't reuse it anyway. So I'm just gonna toss that. Um, but I got the new 160 degree uh, in there with the, gas, the new gasket and I'm gonna mount it up and bolt it back in, put the hose on, and refill the coolant system. It's literally that easy. So if you have a 2010 to 15 Camaro SS, you literally just drain from that bottom port I showed you on the driver's side, let all the coolant drain out, um, unbolt this, you'll barely have any splash out. I just had like a little bit of drip on the pulley, but that's no big deal, I'll just clean it off. And uh, yeah. Put the new one in with the new gasket. Don't reuse the old gasket. And I'll put this back in like this. Bolt it down and put the hose on and refill the system. That easy. We'll see you when we're done. 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil. I don't know why I said 11, but it's 10. So take back what I said, use a 10 mil. Everything's on, hose is on. Wipe down the stuff down there that it dripped on. It's all good to go. Drinking a beer. Not my favorite. It's just what we had left over from the 4th of July. So I'm drinking it. I'm a yingling guy from the East Coast, so uh, it's usually what I drink, but I'm gonna finish off what we got, and then I'll get more. But, um, I am going to go to the store and get a gallon of distilled water and mix my dex cool half and half to make it 50 50 with distilled water and then i'll be ready to fill this thing back up no rush no rush All right, so it's the next morning. Um, I just had some stuff to do last night. We didn't even uh, put the coolant in yet, but we're gonna do that right now. But I want you guys to check this out. It's ridiculous. I, we're down in Tennessee and the insects are pretty prominent here, especially with how hot it's been and how mild the winter was. But holy crap, look at this. So this was not here yesterday. 
and I open the garage and see this. This spider web is massive. I mean, it goes from the top of the garage where the brick is to the ground and attaches over here. It is huge. Look at this thing. What a work of art. But I'm gonna destroy it. Because uh, the only other option I see is burning the house down. So, yeah, I don't know. Camaro will just have to stay there. I'll just light a match and we'll call it good. I mean, we'll cut our losses. I don't, I don't see any other option. So, uh, it's huge. No, no uh, spider presence though. So. He must be taking a nap. But I'm gonna burn and him, burn him and his friends to the ground, along with the house. Just cut the losses. Sorry guys. No more uh, Freedom Taxi build. Can't deal with it. We just had, we had pest control come out yesterday and redo the whole house. So maybe they're just drawing them out because of all the chemicals and stuff who knows but geez. all right crisis averted um good news for you guys we're gonna be able to keep the house and the car uh that one's gone and i found another one that was up in the corner way up in there and uh that's where he was i saw him and i killed him there's his there's his blood right there we drew blood so it's a, it's a good day let's get back to the camaro and uh, am i cool ready don't freak out this was empty, I cleaned it out, and I only used this bottle just to mix my distilled water with my full strength Dexcool. So there is Dexcool in here, it's not regular green coolant, don't freak out. So I just used this empty one, cleaned it out, and put half the distilled water in here, then poured half of this full strength in there, make that 50-50, then pour the rest of the gallon into this. So now we have two gallons of 50-50. Dex cool, and we're about to fill it up. All right, we're full up to there. I'm gonna start the car, um, cap open, and let some of the air bubbles get out of there, and then uh, we should be good. Let it bubble down, top it off, and be good to go. So when you start the car after flushing it, make sure you turn the heat on and the fans on full blast. Let the car warm up and let it start drawing the coolant, um, and then. Once it starts sucking down, you can top it off. <sighs> Neighborhood wake up. Here we go. menu and just watch the coolant temp. It is hot here. Alright, so let's keep an eye on that. We'll be good. Don't worry about that little guy. It's just because the secondary O2s are unplugged from the long tubes. That'll be gone. Don't worry about it. And no leaks from the housing, so install was a success. Pretty easy job, so wouldn't expect it. She's uh, slowly bubbling down there. So I'm just waiting for the fans to kick on. And then, uh, Turn the car off and let it sit. Let down some big air pockets. It's rising up and then bubbling out. So. 
turned on. So if you guys didn't know, for GM, like when they were producing this car, they thought something was wrong, but it's just the way the car is designed. And the fans don't come on until 220, um, 220 degrees, which may seem high to a lot of people, but uh, these are actually good until about 250 um, is when you have to start thinking about shutting it down. Um, but the fans are on and the temperature is dropping. Already down to 205 since they turned on. It's 203, they're dropping pretty quick. Um, so when I get the car tuned, uh, he's gonna tune it to have the fans turn on sooner, probably around like, you know, 200 or something. Um, and then have the, you know, for it to compensate for the new thermostat opening at 160 instead of 197. So there's that, I'm gonna turn the heat off and uh, see where the car goes down to real quick. One ninety six and see if the fans go off. Fans are still going. I wonder I don't even know what they shut off at. We're back down to one ninety four from two twenty. So just operating how it should be. I'm gonna shut the car off, but I'll give it a little blip here. Woo! Alright, so I'm going to let the car sit and uh, cool down for a little bit and then uh, check the level on the coolant and we'll be good to go. Alright, I checked the coolant level, just added a little bit more after it cooled down and we are good to go. Go for a test drive, make sure everything's good and we'll be all set. Uh, if you haven't yet already, make sure you uh, hit the like button on this video if it was helpful or if you like the content. Um, we The next video uh, will be the car getting tuned, so stay tuned for that one. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to it to get notifications when we post new videos. Um, but until next time, we will see you later. Peace.